I'm John Mars, a member of the Home-Based Professional Learning Team for the Digital Teaching and Learning Division at the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction. I wanted to show you briefly how to set up the new TIMS extract in PowerSchool using the Data Export Manager. From the Start page, click on Special Functions on the left, then Importing and Exporting. Finally, Data Export Manager at the bottom. This drops you right into exporting data. The first step is to select the columns to export. For the TIMS extract, you want the additional data sets category. And then for the export from drop down, scroll all the way down and find the TIMS extract. And then check to include the one column in the TIMS extract. Then click next at the bottom right. Next, it wants to know what records you want to export. In this case, you want all rows, which is the default. So we'll just click Next at the bottom right again. And finally, you can set your export format and options. So you can give it a custom file name. For the line delimiter, you want a CRLF, a carriage return line feed. For the field delimiter, you want other and you'll type in an asterisk. And finally, the character set should be Windows if it is not already. For your export options, be sure to uncheck both boxes. You don't want either of these. And lastly, you can click Export to immediately run the export and the download the file. You could also choose to click Save Template so that you didn't have to set this up every time. To save the template, just click Save Template. You can give it a name. You can give it a description if you like. And finally, click Save as New. To access your templates later, you can go to My Templates up here at the top. And then you would just click on your template name. and it would bring you right back in here with all of your options preset. So you would just need to click Next a couple times, uncheck that box, and hit Export. You may also be able to work with your IT, power school, and transportation people to set this up as a scheduled template. I hope this has been helpful.